Oh, there we go. Now things on the host. Okay, so I'm going to edit off the front. So here we go. Hi, it's Carolyn Willman, and you know me as the Contest Queen. You're tuned into With the Contest Queen, where the winning begins. It's Thursday, December 7th, and I have Ken Carlos with me. He's the owner and creator of Sweepstakes Advantage. Yay! Before we talk to Ken, let me tell you about what we're giving away on this episode. Ken, I wouldn't be the contest queen without prizes. Hello. For this show, Ken is giving us six, six, there's going to be six winners of a one-month subscription to Sweepstakes Plus. And if you're an existing member, they will just add it onto your subscription so everybody can win. They are U.S. focused, so it might be better for the U.S. viewers of this, but anybody can enter. And stay tuned at the end of the show, and then we'll tell you how you can win. So I'm very excited because what I didn't realize was this year was the 20th anniversary of Sweepstakes Advantage. They have been around for 20 years. How exciting. And so we're going to talk a little bit about where they started and where they're going, because there's always the future of sweepstakes. It's very exciting to talk about. And all the URLs we talk about in the show, I'll post below. Uh, if you remember, if you've been following me for a while, rather, you may remember I interviewed Ken originally on my podcast. My, I called it my radio show. Um, on Blog Talk Radio, and I will put the links uh, for both Blog Talk Radio and iTunes uh, in the description below too, so you guys can go listen to the first one uh, after you watch the video. So I'm very excited to have you, Ken. It's good. It's great to be here, Carolyn. So you have. I like to tell people about the different sites you have. So you have two sites technically. You have Sweepstakes Advantage and Sweepstakes Plus. So just for those that aren't familiar with both your platforms, can you just tell us um, the basics of each one and why they're a little bit different? Okay. Well, um, with Sweepstakes Advantage, um, that's our site. That's sort of like our introductory site that's completely free. And uh, you actually don't even have to register to use the site. Uh, it's a directory of sweepstakes, meaning um, we list free sweepstakes every day. Um, most days, over 200 new sweepstakes on any particular day, seven days a week. And um, so basically, it's, it's a good introduction for someone that's – not familiar with sweepstakes. There's a lot of learning resources on the site as well to get started. And sort of once you hopefully start winning prizes, you sort of want more, you want, you know, uh, to see um, what else there is to offer. The Sweepstakes Plus site, um, we give you tools uh, to help you be more organized to hopefully enable you to win more prizes. And then aside from that, uh, we have categories, um, sweepstakes that aren't available to the free members that are available to the plus subscribers. Some of those categories are like text and text entry uh, sweepstakes, um, local sweepstakes, uh, Instagram. Um, and why those categories are available to the plus subscribers, we feel like they have better odds of winning. Uh, because the um, the entry pool is most often smaller, uh, so um, so those are basically the differences. The main differences of the two sites um, on the Sweepstakes Advantage site, we even do a comparison, so you can see on one page um, what all the differences are. That's so, handy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What I tell people, one of the things I'd like to emphasize to the viewers, especially if you're new to sweepstaking, is one, um, when I tell people I teach them how to win, I say find, organize, enter, and win. And organize is key because the idea is you want to enter as many sweepstakes as you can in the shortest period of time. So the fact that you give people tools to be organized is, is huge. I also tell people they need to invest in the hobby. You know, if you're into photography, you're spending money on camera equipment. If you're into, you know, uh, trains, you're buying, you know, little cars and tracks, you're, you're spending money on the hobby. And 
the fact is we're probably the only hobby that if you invest in it in any area, you're going to have one win and it pays for whatever right. you spent your money on, which you won't get that return with any other hobby. So I like people to, you know, think about that when they are thinking, sh should I spend money on the subscription? You know, try it out. You know, worst case, you subscribe for six months, and if you don't find it's for you, then then you just don't renew. But it doesn't hurt to try. The other thing I like is that you do say that people can come to your free site and they shouldn't register. But I would like to encourage people to register when they come to Sweepstakes Advantage because one of the things that the benefits they get by registering is they automatically go to your newsletter list and you have feature sweepstakes and different things in the newsletter that they will get directly to their inbox. Because even though I can't enter a lot of your sweepstakes myself because I'm in Canada and you're in the States and a lot of the good ones are American, I need to move to the US. Um, I get your newsletter and I see what you're featuring and it is well worth registering just to get that every day in your inbox. Uh, just as a reminder of what's going on, what's featured, what's what's come up and and you do that every day which is which is nice because my newsletter I only send it out every twice a month so yours is is daily so it's important that people I say you know yeah if you choose to use the free site great but they really should sign up and get that newsletter I think it's well worth uh, giving out your email address that you only use for sweepstaking by the way <laughs> just a reminder for that too Right, and in the uh, in the newsletter, just to add to that, um, we um, we only highlight sweepstakes in the newsletter that we feel are are great odds uh, for winning, and uh, we actually put those in um, in bold in the newsletter. So if you're limited on time, you could quickly scan the newsletter and find the sweeps that we consider to be the best odds for winning, because that's the whole purpose of the site is we want people to win prizes. Uh, we're not. We don't want to, you know, uh, introduce people to sweepstakes that we feel aren't going to uh, result in them winning a prize is what be the point of that. And uh, so the newsletter is pretty simple. It's uh, quick. It's a quick read. It's a quick daily read. And, it, it, you know, it's, it's free. You know, a lot of other um, sweepstakes directories, they charge for their newsletters. We never have. So. Because we we always we've always wanted to introduce the site to uh, to people uh, any kind of economic background you know so that uh, everyone has the same um, yeah game. that's that's good so the other thing since we're talking about odds one of the questions I get and I'm sure you get it all the time so I'm gonna pose it to you myself mm -hmm. is that because of social media and online sweepstakes it just seems like more and more and more people are entering. So how do you still um, win when the pool of entrance has grown dramatically? It's a great question. And um, we recently did a blog article on the site. We actually did a lot of research into it because um, a lot of people really don't understand odds. And uh, there's really good reason for that because odds is sometimes difficult to understand and it's not a definite thing. Um, Talking about the turn in terms of odds, um, you know, odds is defined by uh, the number of people who are entering the sweepstakes, right? So if you have a particular sweepstakes with a th with a hundred entrants, and and you're you know, and you enter that sweepstakes once, it the odds are one hundred to one. Now, there are things that factor into those odds that are hard to measure, sometimes even impossible to measure. Um, I'll just give you a case in point. Um, we always do tests on the site to try to uh, figure things out to help our members. You know, there, there are Amazon instant win sweepstakes. Um, Amazon, not too long ago, they start producing their own instant win sweepstakes. So we created one through their system to see sort of how it functions and, and how um, their system works. And when you first create the promotion on the Amazon instant win site, it tells you what the odds are going to be. And when we created one, they said the odds are one in 10,000. 
I was like, wow, one in 10,000, that's kind of, you know, that's out there. So we created the promotion. We gave away a few, I think, Amazon gift cards. And what happened was, is the promotion was over within the span of 5,000 entrants. Now, what they considered to be the odds didn't end up being the odds because the promotion is instant win, which means their system picks winners, you know, uh, randomly. And they could pick all their winners at the beginning, all their winners at the end, pick them very quickly as what – this is what, what happened for this test that we did. So odds are not always a, a perfect science, even with – the, uh, the pool of entrants being expanded by social media and other platforms. Uh, it's not always a perfect science. Uh, so what we try to do is tell people, don't really think about the odds, but think about the things that might, that are more certain that might allow you to, to win a promotion. Um, one of those things, for example, might be to enter a sweepstakes where uh, some skill is involved because um, the whole other thing of this is that when when the winner gets selected, how is that winner being selected? Is it random? Is there someone judging your ent your entry? And depending on those things, that greatly can uh, change the odds in your favor. Real quick case in point would be like, uh, let's say um, an essay or a submitting a video where the, the, where the, um, where your submission gets judged, well, odds go out the window because then you have a, you know, a person or a group of people who are, who are judging, uh, who is going to win that promotion based on skill or how fun the video was, or if they, uh, if they, um, were able to um, describe the brand effectively in the video or whatever the case may be. So there are a lot of things that go into um, promotions nowadays that where odds don't really have a, you know, they don't really factor in as much as you people might think. Not to mention that odds aren't a perfect science. They're just a guess, you know, like uh, anyone who plays fantasy football, um, they can devise the perfect team in fantasy football. Their team has got all the all-star players. But what happens? One of their players gets injured during the season. <laughs> there goes, you know. Your, your I odds, can't predict the future. Right. Your odds if we get can predict the right future, we'd be rich, Ken. Right. So just like <laughs> fantasy football, the same thing happens with sweepstakes. Depending on who's judging and how they select the entrance, odds really uh, sometimes really don't factor in. Yeah, uh, yeah, if we could predict the future, we'd have the Powerball numbers. <laughs> right, right, exactly. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's the other. That's the thing with odds. And, and I do agree with you. I do um, think it's kind of going back. If anybody read the or, or saw the movie The Prize Winner of Defiance, Ohio, when back in the 50s and early 60s, it was, you know, finish this jingle, 25 words or less, and it was all judged. And that's in the marketing world, that's called consumer generated media, CGM. And it's heading back to that, except now with technology, it's at a video or, or um, you know, come up with an Instagram post or share a recipe or write an essay. And I say, if you have other mad talents, you know, combine them with sweepstakes. If you're a great baker, look for the cooking contest, you know, the baking contest. If you can cook, uh, hit up all those cooking shows and cooking competitions and, and whatnot, you know, cause you never know what, what you can win from that. And you might be a great photographer. There's a ton of fantastic photography contests. So if you're, you know, amazing with the camera and can capture, you know, those shots, then, you know, enter them. Cause you never know what'll, what the judges are looking. That's the other thing. You're right. It's a, when it's judged, it's objective. So you get a panel of 10 judges and what one likes, the other doesn't like and, and vice versa. So you just put it in and hope that you're, you have what they're looking for. Yeah. And you don't actually know. They can put the description of, you know, 20% creativity, 50% is originality, you know, 30% is, you know, whatever, but it's still subjective even when they put the rules 
um, and they try and judge the rules. Yeah, even uh, there are even cases where you don't really have to have any skill. Like, uh, for instance, um, a local sweepstakes that um, the only method of entry is text to win. Now, I recently won a local sweepstakes that was text to win. I think it was a daily entry. I entered it once and I won. <laughs> I won a gift guide. And I, I personally don't really enter sweepstakes every day because we're busy running the site. You know, we have editors that go out and find the sweepstakes. But uh, it's just an example of, you know, like just being smart and, um, and sort of realizing that, you know, maybe the scope of entrance might be a lot smaller than for like a national promotion. And that right away is going to increase your odds of winning. Well, that's, you said you had that feature on your sweepstakes plus site, which mm -hmm. is one thing I wrote about and I call it concentric circles, right? So you start off, you know, your city and then your state and then national. So your odds, you know, increase because the circle of potential entrance is much smaller. And then it depends on your city. You know, if you're in a mid market versus a, a mass market. So if you're in New York City or Chicago or LA, local is gonna be bigger than if in you're in Des Moines, Iowa or you know, Louisville, Kentucky, they're gonna be those markets are it's still local, but the odds are, are even better. So it depends also, it can depend, local can be subjective to, to yeah, that's, depending that's on where correct. you live. That's true, yeah, yeah. You know, I live near Toronto, so it's not really much different than living near New York or LA, or we've got millions of people in this region. I think it's the whole greater Toronto area is like six or seven million people, so it's. Well, it's a good cool. um, sort of, not to get too far off the trail here, but um, another good tactic would be this time of the year, there are a lot of, um, you know, 12 days of Christmas and limited time promotions going on because it's the holiday season. So you might want to take advantage of those because not everyone has uh, enough time on their hands to go and, and, and know that these promotions are starting and ending in a very small amount of time. So you might, your odds might greatly increase if you take part in some of those promotions, especially this time of year. Yeah, it's interesting because I just, um, was speaking to a new uh, prospective client yesterday and he wants to run a sweepstakes. So he's going to run one this month. So, uh, but I told him save some for January when things get quiet and people could pay attention to your company right. <laughs> <laughs> when things get, so there's advantages and disadvantages to promotions in December. Yeah. Now, speaking of which, cause it's funny because what happens in December is the number of sweepstakes goes up and because you've got the holidays and family and friends and holiday parties and Christmas baking and decorating your time. So the sweepstakes do this and your time does that. So it's even more critical in December, but what do you suggest when people have limited time um, to sweep in December or actually any time of the year? Yeah, I think, um, you know, everyone's busy during the holidays. All of us are. Um, I think you really should focus on, like, everyone should have a goal. And sweep. like, if you're a serious sweepstakes hobby person, you should, you sort of should have a goal. Like, uh, maybe your goal is uh, you want to win a free trip this year. You don't want to pay for your vacation. You want to win a free trip. So, you know, on our site, we make it very easy for you to just focus on, um, vacation sweepstakes or trip sweepstakes and um and then there's that type of thing that you can do where you can you know drill down into the categories of our site and find those specific sweepstakes but you can also you know again um sweepstakes that are easy to enter on the go uh, text entry sweepstakes um you can enter them on your cell phone you can enter them during your lunch break because you can enter them from a cell phone you know, you don't need a computer. Um, you can enter them from anywhere. Uh, some of them are daily entry. So um, maybe combine uh, looking for a, a trip, trying to win a trip with a text to win. So look for text to win sweepstakes that are giving away vacations and then, you know, make that your focus, you know, like pull, <laughs> you know, you might only have a few minutes a day during a lunch break, pull out your cell phone. Text entries is so easy to enter. That's the why they're so popular. Um, 
Um, so those are the types of things that I would say, like if, you, if you're limited time, just uh, determine what your goal is for winning and then, uh, and then focus on that, you know. Yeah, that's a good idea. And actually, that's a good tip because the new year, right? Because a lot of people make New Year's resolutions. So I always say make winning resolutions. Like, okay, now that we finished 2017, what, am I go what are my winning goals for 2018? And then set up your system or your entry system or what you're focusing on around those goals. So that's a, that's a good thing to do. And then if you do have limited time, just enter the ones that are for trips. Don't bother with the, the little finagly stuff. You know, I, I always say it, it takes as much time to win a car as it does a movie pass. Right. Yeah. Right. So focus on the prizes that have bigger value first and then the little ones. So if you only have half an hour, enter the big dollar value items first. If you have time, then kind of take it down the, the dollar value and the, the, you know, the level. Yeah. So it's, so now, You've, you're always changing because technology keeps moving forward. So anybody that's in the technology industry like us has to keep updating and upgrading and making changes and keeping up to date. So what have you guys done since the last time we actually talked? What upgrades have you made to Sweepstakes Advantage? Yeah, we're always, um, you know, my, my background is in engineering. Uh, I got my start with, uh, with, um, Microsoft back in the early nineties, <laughs> I was an engineer from Microsoft. Um, and then Diane, my wife, who's uh, my partner in the business, uh, her background is in sweepstakes. But, um, so we really do have a very uh, heavy focus on engineering with the site. And, uh, so we've done a lot of things in the last year. We switched hosts, uh, to a dedicated host. And, uh, so the site wow. is faster, much faster. Uh, that was a big, huge project. Um, we've also are mobile responsive now, the site. So whether you're on Sweepstakes Plus or Sweepstakes Advantage, um, if you use our site on, let's say, an, an Apple tablet, uh, the screen will automatically reformat to make, to make the site easier to navigate from the tablet. Same oh, nice. Thing, yeah, same thing goes for a smartphone. Site will automatically format for this for the smartphone, and so that it's easier to use, especially for people that are you know have limited time. Yeah, if you're standing in line waiting to buy Christmas gifts and the line's long, you can go on and find exactly, the yeah, thing. yeah, text to wins exactly. So, uh, and then the third thing that uh, huge initiative this year has been on quality. Um, we have a very big review now on quality every day when we approve sweepstakes to go on the site. Um, we really, um, look at quality. Um, the big, the reason being is that we don't want to list sweepstakes that, um, where we don't see the sponsors really announcing their winners or a lot of people talking about win winning from those particular sponsors. So we've really, crack down on that so that um, people can feel confident that when they come to the site that they're going to be entering sweepstakes where people really do win the prizes and it's just not the advertiser trying to get extra exposure for his product or service or whatever. Yeah, and it's also the marketers. You know, I had that experience this year where I entered an Instagram sweepstakes and everybody came back and said, okay, so who won? Who won? Because I didn't win. <laughs> and... <laughs> They said, oh, we're not putting the winner's name up because for privacy reasons. And I'm thinking, I've read hundreds and thousands of rules over the years, and there's always a clause in this rules that says, we're allowed to use your likeness and your name and whatnot. Right. I'm like, that's a BS answer because, okay, yeah, I get privacy concerns, but if you're entering a sweepstakes, people don't realize the rules are a legal and binding contract that's court actionable between the sponsor and the entrant. And you're giving away your right to privacy when you sign, the, when you enter, because you're basically saying, Hey, you can use, you can use my name and announce me as a winner. If I win, that's what you're, you're giving them permission to do. Right. So yeah, I, I say it's important that you do you do what you're doing and you stick to the people that say, hey, and I actually tell marketers they should be doing that because I call it pull marketing 
and it gives you another thing to post. It gives you another thing to encourage people that, yeah, we really do give away the prizes. And it gives you um, uh, another opportunity to announce something else. So I'll say, you know, you can do a little post on Facebook and say, oh my gosh, Susan Smith from, you know, Syracuse, New York was the lucky winner of our, and you don't even have to use her last name. You can just say Susan. Mm -hmm. you know, you know, if you're worried about that, you can just say Susan from this city was lucky right. winner of, you know, our gift card and stay tuned because we're going to hold something next month. Make sure you like our page. And so now they have something to post, something to share. They reassure people. Um, I think it's just good marketing for, for, forget just, you know, um, using it for what you do. I think it's just good marketing to, to do that. Yeah. We, um, along the lines of quality, we actually regularly, a lot goes on behind the scenes in our website that people don't realize there's a lot of busy work going on, but we regularly email sponsors when we feel as though they're not announcing or we feel as though the prize winners aren't visible out there. Like we'll email them and say, um, we haven't seen anybody talking about winning your prizes lately. Can you provide us a list or because we want to keep listing your promotion, but we want to feel confident that you really are upholding to your side of Ooh. the agreement and, you know, awarding prizes. And, I didn't know you did that. That's oh, yeah. really good to know. Cause yeah, I do it sometimes do myself, but maybe not as rigorously as you do because I'm, I'm not a directory. I'm, yeah. I'm like, I'm more teach people, you know, to how to use sites like yours rather than, than list them. So that's actually really good that you guys do that. I didn't know you did that. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, yeah, our, we sort of feel like our reputation is on the line. So we, we try to do everything we can to uh, make sure that people are entering sweepstakes where they definitely have a chance to win an actual prize. And it's just, like I said, not the sponsor trying to get free promotion for his uh, product or service. So, um, because there are, unfortunately, there are those companies and, and sites and services that, that are, that's their main goal. And, you know, and some of them, like, they'll award the prize, they'll show the picture of the person winning the prize, and then they'll take forever to award that prize. So we don't really, really don't like that either. And uh, so we feel as though we're an advocate uh, for, you know, our members. Um because we really want them to win, man. That's the whole. That's the whole idea of the site, and it's been the idea since the very beginning. And um, so, anyways, to make a long story short, quality is very important to us, and we're really, really making big efforts on that this year and then going forward. Uh, oh my gosh, quality. that's so good! I like that you have a lot of Q and A in the site. Unfortunately, you're right. Sometimes marketers, you know, they drag their heels because they're busy and you know, sometimes they don't care. Like they're just there to do their job. They just want to punch in nine to five and whatever, you know, they don't, it depends. You know, you get everyone's the people that you, you sadly, you're right. There are sites that aren't, you know, up to stuff. And then there's other people that just want to show up, have their coffee, do what they have to do at work and get home. And well, if they don't announce the winner, they don't care. So it's good that you kind of, you know, po poke them and get going. Now, sometimes, and I find this, if, if I haven't been entering as much, if, if we get into a sweepstakes slump, what do you suggest? And one of the things, um, I don't know if this is what you'd advise, but my little sweepstakes club, and we've never done this before, so we're going to try it. We're all meeting at a member's house on Saturday, and we're going to sweep till we drop as a group. We're starting at 9 a.m., and we're going to go until we're tired. And I don't know how long that is, but we've planned lunch. So we're going to be there probably till two or three or four or five in the afternoon, just sweeping. I think there's going to be six of us with our laptops in the dining room. It's going to be crazy fun helping each other, you know, get motivated to, especially during this busy holiday season when the number of sweepstakes has done this. So what other tips do you have? Uh, besides getting together with another sweeper. Yeah, sweepstakes clubs are great. We actually belong to one that we're actually meeting as well this Saturday. Uh, it's called the Central Florida Sweepstakers Club. Um, if anyone's interested in joining up on that, you can uh, just contact us on the site. But um, so that's a great way because you're with similar like-minded people who are 
trying to win, you know, like the sweepstakes hobby and get excitement from it and all that. Um, but one of the things, uh, simple thing is people, sometimes people need to just take a break and look back at what they're doing and try to figure out if what they're doing is really uh, the best uh, tactic for achieving, you know, winning more prizes. Um, so I suggest take a break and just take a step back and, and what are you, what are you doing every day to, to try to obtain your goal of winning a prize or a certain type of prize? Um, I think that's really important because I've, we, sometimes we get feedback from our members every once in a while and it'll be like, uh, it's called the whiner's wall where they, you know, they, they whine because they're not, they're not winning anything. I love that. Yeah. And, uh, and most of the time it's short lived. They end up coming back and saying, sometimes they say, oh, I'm glad I whined because I won something. There's no <laughs> correlation to the whining and winning something, but they did win. Oh my God. That is a show. We should do yeah. a show called wine and win. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe actually have glasses of wine. That would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, a lot of times people really, um, they're not looking for the right promotions. Like just for an example, we just listed a promotion. I think it was yesterday or the day before where one sponsor is giving away, I think $50,005. Uh, I want to say they're Walmart gift cards. I'll have to, I'll have to double check that, but 50,000 prizes. So if you enter that, your odds to win that are really great. Now, granted, it's only a $5 prize. But if you're in a slump, that could be just the thing you need to sort of get re-energized and, and feel like, you know, you're, you're getting somewhere. Yeah, it's a, tipping of the, it's a tipping point, right? You just kind of right. get, get you going again. And yeah. uh, I always say it's the little ones that keep you going in between the biggies anyway. Yeah. Right? You win a little of this, you win a little of that, get something in the mail. Yeah. Who doesn't like going to the mailbox and getting stuff? Yeah. You know, yeah. finding something there and... Yay, look what showed up. Yeah. Or having to go pick something up, depends on what it is. You know, hey, you want a gift card? Come on down to our store to, to get it and maybe shop while you're here for yep. free. Those are the best shopping trips. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah, gift cards are great. They're always very popular. Electronics, laptops, all that. Uh, and just if you just stay focused, a lot of times you the wins are going to happen. You know, we hear all the time from people, even in our own sweepstakes club, our local sweepstakes club, where it seems like month after month they're not winning anything, and all of a sudden someone wins a huge prize, like twenty thousand dollars, or a big gift card, or a home entertainment package. So just st stay focused is the main thing. Just stay focused, and uh, it's actually the biggest recommendation to someone who's new to sweepstaking. Because people who are new to sweepstaking, they think that you know. They start entering sweepstakes, and in the first week, they're going to win something. They don't realize that there's like a, uh, uh, like a, a chronological line. thing, you know, to uh, a, a waiting period. Most promotions take 30 days, you know, and then sometimes even a couple of weeks for them to announce the winners after that. So, Well, yeah, I just, I just did one. Um, I did the data entry and the management of a Canadian contest for a company because I managed the PO box and all the mail in entries and all the other uh, balloted entries showed up. And because of the time lag um, between when it ended and when I finished the, the spreadsheet to draw the winners, it was two weeks. Right. And that was just getting all the, that's, and that's just prep. And you know, me, I'm not just sitting around, um, you know, lollygagging with the sweepstakes. I mean, because of what I do, I'm on it. So it is. Sometimes there's just like a physical time. You know, I'm waiting for the post. I can only physically organize so many things a day because there's only so many hours in the day. And it just like physically took, you know, two weeks to get that organized before they could do the, the drawing and um, announce the winner. So sometimes there is just background marketing logistics. Now, I do like to say that, you know, it is possible to hit an instant win right away, but I always call when you start entering sweepstakes, January, the gym, you don't go to the gym January 2nd and go, Oh my God, I, j I jogged for an hour on the treadmill. I didn't lose 20 pounds. 
<laughs> you don't expect it to happen. But people go, well, I entered one, and how come I didn't win? Well, <laughs> you got to do a few more. Right, yeah, yeah. Not that it's impossible. I mean, I've interviewed people that, you know, one woman, that's how she started. She, her first thing, she won a car. I mean, that's really rare. Right, yeah. But you can't say it's impossible because everything is possible. Right. But odds are, and we talked about odds, that's slim to none for most of us. Yeah, a, a positive attitude is really important. Um, um, you just got to stay positive be, and, and remember that unlike uh, the lottery where you have to pay for all your entries, scratch tickets and things like that, uh, lotto, this, this hobby is completely free. You know, you're not paying for any of these entries. So just keep that in the back of your mind that, you know, a lot of times people spend hours and hours and hours on hobbies that, uh, you know, they probably will get some kind of um, non-monetary uh, feeling about, you know, they just feel good because it's a hobby they enjoy. Well, if you enjoy entering sweepstakes, remember, it's completely free. And, you know, everyone's waiting for the win because it's so exciting and it gets you ramped up again to enter more sweepstakes. But just stay positive. Try to stay positive. Yeah, that's a good thing. Um, and now what is – now since we're, we're talking about next year – and we're talking about, you know, what setting sweepstakes goals. So what are your goals for your sites? For what, what do you plan? What do you see? I mean, you've made some huge changes because I don't know if anybody watching, because I'm, I'm a bit of a nerd or a geek. Um, I understand going to a dedicated server is a huge thing. <laughs> they, it, people might not appreciate what a big uh, leap that is for a corporation, a company to, to do that. Uh, so what are your future plans? Because you've already done what I think might be the biggest one. Right. Yeah. We're always trying to improve things. Um, um, but the biggest, one of the biggest things is um, that we're trying to, that we're already sort of um, uh, investigating and uh, engineering right now is um, the quicker we're able to post a new promotion. Um, the more likely our, our members are able to win, especially if it's like a daily entry where the more entries they have into the promotion, the more likely their odds are gonna increase and they're gonna win. So we're engineering something right now um, that is gonna allow us to pretty much post the sweepstakes the same day that it gets published by the sponsor or uh, within 24 hours and um, you know, so that's a big project for us that we're trying to accomplish. And um, there's some engineering involved. There's some software and technology and uh, skill involved. So we're, we're putting that together and we feel as though if we can accomplish that, um, we're really going to give people a great opportunity to win prizes only because uh, if we're able to, you know, a lot of times, even when uh, you know we get we get uh, submissions from the sponsors, uh, advertise directly. They post it right to our site. The promotion a lot of, a lot of times, and even when they do it, it's not the same day that they launch the promotion. It's a few days into the promotion. So yeah, a few the days marketers after high. a few days go, right. oh, maybe we should promote this. Right. So a few days have gone have gone by when our members could have already been starting to enter that sweepstakes. So. Uh, we feel as though if we if we can get the promotions listed faster, uh, we'll give our members uh, a better ability to get more entries in or you know uh, win more prizes. That would be good. That's that's huge because um, especially if you do it, it, it during the year. By the time the December, what I call Advent calendar holiday sweeps hit, um, you know you'll be right on there because a lot of them are one day only right you got to enter you know the next 12 days we're giving away stuff so be here on day one to win you know this prize right you're not entering every day you're not winning every day so yeah. that's going to be a really big thing uh to have in place well it just in general but also before the the crazies of december <laughs> hit for the sweepstakes community yeah, and then the other thing is some promotions are um, 
very limited time, like let's say three days, the promotion is for three days. And if we don't find about it until find out about it until the third day, then we just narrow that window of when our members can find the sweep on our site and enter the sweep. So if we get it on day one, you know, especially for those promotions that are a limited time, then, you know, they have more opportunity to, to get in, in on that promotion and hopefully win something. Yeah. I, yeah, I've had, I've had that happen. I've had sponsors email me and go, okay, this finishes tomorrow. And I'm like, you give me eight, you know, 36 uh, yeah. hours for, you know, yeah. it's a, it's a, uh, it's a 72 hour promotion, but they contact me 36 hours in. I'm like, guys, come on. You know, this, oh, yeah. this is crazy. I can't yeah. guarantee any that I'm going to get the word out because you waited. Like I should know the day before and I can post and say starting tomorrow. You know, I encourage sponsors to, to contact me the day before it starts. Right. Because then I can make sure that, that, you know, the word gets out properly because then people are pre-prepped to enter. They'll pre-bookmark it. Right. So. Yep. Totally. Yeah, we'll try and do that. So I'm very excited. So now, that now of course, this is our favorite part, Ken. Not only do we like to teach people how to win and help people win, but we're going to make them win. So if you want to win one of the six one-month subscriptions to Sweepstakes Plus, Send an email to enter me at contestqueen.com. That's E N T E R M E, like enter, enter me at contestqueen.com with your name and uh, phone, just in case something happens with the email. And in the subject, put plus so we know that it's for this particular promotion. You have until December 21st. We're gonna, you know, cut it off at two weeks. So, you know, 11.59 p.m. on December 21st, Eastern time. Um, that's the deadline for this. So if you're watching this in January 2018, then you can't win this prize, even though the information in the video that we just talked about is really good. And uh, you can have a chance to win, but just keep watching. Uh, I'm going to have all the links below for, for different things that we talked about. And, oh, and the other thing I forgot to tell, because we are giving this prize in December. If you win and you want to gift it to a friend, uh, you can arrange that with Ken when we send him all the winning info. So you can keep it or you can gift it, which is a great way. By the way, I love that tip for the holidays. People like to win stuff as gifts and it saves your holiday budget. I have no credit card hangover in January because um, because of, of this hobby. So it's really fantastic. So I want to thank Ken for being my guest today. I've known him not as long as his website's been up, but I've known Ken since 2005. So it's nice to talk to him and watch the changes over the years and be sure to check out their site. And if you haven't signed up for their newsletter, go do it today, go do it today and see, see what I'm talking about when you get that in your inbox every day. And thank you for tuning into With the Contest Queen.